Hi guys. Today I wanted to share a dream that I had this morning. There were actually two dreams, but the first one was personal, about having an intimate relationship with Jesus. The second one has me stumped. I'm not sure what it means. I've prayed for an interpretation, but so far I've not gotten one, so I wanted to ask you all what you think. You can email your thoughts to me at my email address in the description box. Okay, so in my second dream, my oldest sister was having twins. I was trying to get ready to go to the hospital to see her, and just before I got out the door, she showed up at my apartment with her twin baby boys. Now in reality, she's not pregnant. She's like 45, going on 46 years old. I don't even think she can have any more kids. But she said to me that she wanted to come over and make sure that I got to see them. Then that was the end of the dream and I began to wake up. I remembered that I used to have dreams like this years ago before I was saved. I can clearly remember a dream where I had twin baby boys and I was pushing them in a stroller. I started to think that maybe this has something to do with the duality of good and evil. Jonathan Kleck often talks about that. We have both good and evil inside of us, our sinful nature and the Holy Spirit, and we are constantly at war with both spirits trying to dominate us. I also thought that maybe this was about the two witnesses of Revelation. I went onto YouTube and I looked for videos about dreams with twins. Many in the body of Christ have had dreams about twins and everyone sort of has a different interpretation on this. Sister Sherry from the Andrew Rich channel believes that dreams about twins are symbolic of the Jew and Gentile coming together as a sort of fullness of time. Something else that came to my mind was about Jacob and Esau, who were also twins, and how one was good following after God while the other followed after the world. So that comes back to the good versus evil thing again, but I don't know. So if the Lord gives you something on this, please email me and help me understand what this is about. One more thing I wanted to say before I end this video. Paul Begley put up a video today about a plague of locusts in Saudi Arabia at Mecca. When I saw the video, I immediately got an urgency in my spirit and I thought of the 10 plagues of the Exodus and also Revelation 9.3. I mean, I know that this plague of locusts is not upon the entire earth, but I believe this to be a sign for us that the judgment has come, or that it's near. I sent the link for the video to my parents and to my sister. The funny thing is, that video was sent to me through the Facebook Messenger app from my cousin. She called it weird. I told her it's not weird, it's the Lord's judgment. We're right there, guys. And this could be a confirmation that there will be three days of darkness. I don't know. I mean, if the Father is going to do what he did during the ten plagues, then it is very possible that the Exodus could work itself backwards this time, where God's remnant gets taken out, and then the plagues rain down upon the earth, and with them, three days of darkness. I've been back and forth about the three days of darkness. I don't know if I believe that it will happen or if I don't. The Bible does tell us that in the last days there will be darkness that falls upon the earth, but it doesn't say how long it will last. It has been my belief that the entire tribulation will be a physically and spiritually dark period. The Lord has shown me that an EMP attack is going to come upon America. I have also been shown a few times that the body of Christ will be up in the Father's house when that happens. Others believe that they've been shown that the body of Christ will be upon the earth when this darkness occurs. But I believe that that's for the left behind tribulation saints who will experience that. Anyway, I'm sort of rambling, so I'm going to get out of here, and if I get an answer from the Lord about my dream, I will be back. I look forward to hearing your guys' interpretation of my dream, and hang in there guys. I believe that the rapture is very close. Right now, it is more important than ever that we gather closer to the Lord. I mean, as closely as possible. This is what he is telling me right now. You guys know that at the beginning of last year, 
the Lord moved me to come away from entertainment and purify myself in him. Now this is the beginning of the year again, and he's moving me to come away from technology and really just anything that takes my time away from him and from the body of Christ. For about a month, I wasn't getting any dreams. I wasn't hearing from him, and now I've been crying out to him, and he is letting me know that I need to let go of everything in this world and just really cling to him. That's pretty much what my first dream was about this morning, getting closer, more intimate with him, and spending time alone in the quiet with him. I have also felt that what we do right now and how we spend our time is very critical. I feel that those who don't choose to spend their time with the Lord in intimacy will be judged and most likely left behind. So I'm praying all the time, and I'm really trying to fight the temptation of the flesh. I want to be found ready and acceptable to him when he comes. I want my garment to be white and pure. I urge you guys to all do the same. Do not forsake your relationship with the Lord. Do not neglect him. It can be very easy to get caught up in our own desires and hobbies in everyday life and forget to spend time with the Lord. He is not desiring a few minutes of your day. He is not desiring an hour of your day. He desires the majority of your day. He desires to come first in everything that you do. He desires that when you wake up, you seek him first. He desires that you speak to him throughout your day, and he desires that you sing praises to him throughout your day. I know it's hard because you've got your family and your co-workers and your friends all trying to get your attention too, but the Lord wants you to put him first. I'm sorry, I know I was going to end this video, but the Holy Spirit wanted me to put that out there. Maybe some of you needed to hear that, I don't know. But I had not intended to say any of that, and then it just came bursting forth. So brothers and sisters, it's time to draw closer to him than you've ever been. It's time to give up the things of this world. It's time to just let go and be one with him. Whenever you have free time in your day, don't spend it on your phone, don't spend it on your computer. Don't spend it watching television. Spend your time with Yeshua, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Okay, I think that this is it this time. I'll talk with you guys later, and if our bridegroom comes, we'll see each other soon in the house of the Father. God bless you guys. Shalom.